welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hermitcraft episode 13.5. Now, I said in my last Hermitcraft episode that I would be doing a in-between episode as I'm currently away in Japan. Firstly, getting some inspiration, and secondly, just having a good time, I hope. Haven't had a big holiday in a while, so I've been looking forward to it, and gosh, I hope I'm having fun. I bet the food's so good. Future Joel will probably tell you the food is good. But yes, this episode is gonna be a sort of in-between episode where I asked you guys to leave some comments with some questions, and I've been looking through them, and I've chosen a fair few, and we're gonna answer them today while we do some mining, maybe some interior decorating in old buildings, and maybe just standing still staring deep into your soul. So make sure to subscribe, and don't worry, there is another Hermitcraft video around the corner that I did pre-record with some stuff that you can't see right now, but you'll have to wait and see for that to come out. Now we're going to start by finally doing a little bit of interior in this train station here. Now a lot of people asked multiple questions in their comment, but I'm just going to answer one from each person as I feel like that's fair. Let's start with Alex Goes Beep, who says, how do you stay motivated? motivated to build. And there's an easy answer to that one, and it is you guys watching. Seeing all the likes on the videos, the comments, the nice fan art, it really does just, like, inspire me to continue on with building. I think I'd struggle a lot to motivate myself if it wasn't for you watching the video. Marion McIntosh says, does it get overwhelming actively being on two SMPs at once, SOS and Hermitcraft? And the answer to that is yes, it does for sure. On some of the episodes, of SOS though, I do have an editor helping me out, which takes away a lot of the stress. Glitex Lips asks, what is your Tumblr or do you just lurk? And I do have a Tumblr. I can't remember what it is. It's like Joel Bean's blogs or something like that. I don't post on there. I only use it to just lurk like you said, which I actually want to address something. People found my Spotify playlist, right? It was called Net Kisses and people have been reading into it like I made this playlist for Evo. I didn't, guys. It's just my music, and I happen to call it Neck Kisses. And when I found out Tumblr had found that playlist, I made another playlist called Oh No, Tumblr Found My Neck Kisses playlist as a joke. And people like reading into the songs and be like, wow, is this one about Efo? They're not. They're just songs I'm listening to at the moment, all right? None of them got anything to do with Efo. They also asked any plans for a mega base, which I will answer as well. My whole base is kind of a mega base. I do have some plans for some massive buildings at some point. I really want to make one massive building as well. But yeah. Yeah, there, there is some plans. Dandelions asks, how far in advance do you generally film your videos before posting them? Now, to be honest, apart from this one you're watching, which is filmed in advance, and the next Hermitcraft episode, most of my videos are, like, uploaded the day I finish them. I would love to have mine scheduled in advance, but I feel like with SMPs, you kind of want to be, you know, on the ball and up to date and for everyone's timelines to line up. Lily Peltz says, were you a fan of Hermitcraft before joining? I was a fan. I started watching during season seven. And I remember specifically watching Grian, Scar, Mumbo, and Iskal. And I played a lot of modded Minecraft at the time. And it inspired me to start my own single player world called Minecraft Goals. I think I even mentioned it in that series that I got inspired by Hermitcraft. And ever since then, I've been a fan. Evelyn's Rod asks, what was your reaction when you were invited to Hermitcraft plus bonus who told you slash invited you? My reaction was a mix of excitement and nerves. I was excited to join, but nervous on like the scale of everything here, like these seasons, like last one lasted for like over two years, wasn't it? Something crazy. I've not really done an SMP that has lasted that long ever. And I actually got asked by Grian in person at his birthday party. Mumbo and Ren were also at the party and they welcomed me straight afterwards. And I also got quite a few nice messages from other hermits, including Efo, I may add man's obsessed with me. But it was very cool to be asked in person. It's a shame we weren't recording like when Skiz got invited. BlueXXBerry3317 says, what's your favorite part of being a hermit so far? I think my favorite thing so far is just like interacting with some new people and making some funny moments. Like I've had a good few with Iskal. Also the whole area, which I'm not going to show you right now because there might be spoilers. Just like the whole base area is really cool living all together. That's probably my favorite part so far. It's so easy just like record clips and just people being online all the time. Super Servo says, do you like spicy food? Do you think you could beat Jimmy at the Hot Ones challenge? I do like spicy food to an extent. I like when food 
is spicy, but if it's spicy for the sake of being spicy and it tastes awful, then I don't like it. I don't know how I'd do it at the Hot Ones Challenge, but I'd like to think I wouldn't chicken out like Jimmy. Alina asked two questions. <laughs> One is, what is your favorite BBC Good Food recipe? Okay, I'll put it on the screen now. Is this crispy chili beef one? And she said, have you ever wanted to go to Canada before? To be honest, not really. Like, it's never really been like a holiday destination in mind. But I would definitely go visit Jem. Search for Efo as nobody knows where that man lives. It's just in Canada, but that's a massive place. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be fun to go one day. Dre8015 says, where do you get the inspo for the funny intros? To be honest, a lot of the ideas come when I'm trying to get to sleep. And I'll just like think of something I'm like, oh, that'd be funny. And I just write it down in my notes on my phone. But I also get inspiration from like movies that I've watched recently and stuff like that. I have no idea what I'm doing with this interior, by the way. I'm just going a bit wild with it. Eh, let's just call that done. I'll also have another question of Dre's because I have not seen anyone else ask this, which is, will you post the band releases? Now, I'm not going to lie. The stuff that I do with Ollie, Joel, and Joe, my other friends, we just do for a bit of fun. There's no releases. We don't really record it apart from Ollie's setup, so probably not, no. But we might do a stream sometime on Ollie's Twitch of us just, you know, messing around, maybe performing a set. We'll see. Let's head down to the mines when we answer Vanessa Rap. Taj, 1090s question. And I'm actually going to take the second question, which is when you are spending a long time building on mining, what do you do to keep yourself entertained? Now, I've said this before, but I love to watch just TV shows, preferably something with a lot of dialogue that's easy to watch. For example, at the moment, I'm watching Gossip Girl, which is, to be honest, quite terrible. But it's very easy just to put on my right monitor whilst I'm building or collecting materials or whatever. Lauren Crow 7 says... What inspired you to do the Japanese theme in Hermitcraft? I can tell you exactly what inspired me, and that is Big Hero 6. Originally, I was going to do like a San Fran Tokyo vibe, like the movie. I think in my creative world, ooh, I actually have a first attempt at like a San Francisco style house, which I'll hopefully put on the screen now if I can find it. But eventually, I decided I'll go down more the Japanese theme and do the cyberpunk theme instead. Saturn Ace asks, what is your favorite life series and why? My favorite life series is definitely Last Life. I was kind of like the villain on that series in a way, and I was terrible at it, but I had so much fun like setting up traps. And when it finally worked and I got Cleo, that was amazing. She reads 2954 says, how much of your chaos is a bit and how much is just the way your brain works? Now I say this all the time, but when you see me in these videos, this is not what I'm like in real life most of the time. When I'm acting all crazy and stuff, that is me just messing around, having fun and sort of like playing a character where the character is myself. But I guess for me to actually do that, I guess part of it has to be me as I do come up with these ideas all by myself and they are a bit weird sometimes. Elena Diaz2332 asks, what has been your favorite series in your whole channel history? or maybe a top three. Now, I'm going to take Hermitcraft out of this and only include series that have been completed. And I'll give you a top three, but I won't give you an order. My top three are definitely Empires Season 1, X-Life, and, I have to start, and I'd have to say it's a tie between my hardcore single player world and my original 100 day series, which blew up like crazy during the pandemic. Ooh, diamonds. I think we should have a quick fire round of the Q&A where I answer some people's questions really quickly. Clouded Sulphur, do you ever miss your old skin? No, it was ugly. Would you ever do another acting out fan fiction video? Probably not. What would be your ideal Minecraft update? Fix the end. If you could guess how many horses did you kill this year? Not many this year, 100. What is your favorite intro? The news one on Hermitcraft. How'd you come up with your intros ideas? My weird brain. Are you doing lore in your intros? It's not meant to be, it's just meant to be a bit of fun. What's your canon height in Hermitcraft lore? Five foot nine. Back to some normal questions. Starting with I8 and Ant who says, you're a really good builder, but I'm curious if there's any part of the building process that is difficult to you or something you consistently struggle with. Hang on, there's a geode here. It's very low down. One of the things I struggle with building is just starting a build, I find a lot of the time. Like, I'll have an idea in my head, but I just can't come around to actually, like, start placing the blocks down as I just don't know where to start. That's what I always struggle with. And often I will just build the shape of something and then just delete it because I don't like it. Pastel Peaches 2913 asks, what pets do you and Lizzie currently have? Now, we have a dog called Mary, who is adorable. She's our only pet at the moment, as sadly we lost our cat Buddy last year. 
year. But here are some pictures of her or maybe a video on the screen now because I just love her so much. She's the cuddliest dog in the world and she's always so, so happy. Let's go for another quick fire from Trash Queen. Would you do an Imp and Skiz podcast episode? Yes, of course. What's the thing you wish you did more on Hermitcraft? Probably just hang out and chill rather than working on something. What's one thing you've learned from Hermitcraft so far? Tango lies and says he's not a builder but then builds amazing things. Who's a hermit you didn't know before but actually think you could be really good friends with? Iskal or Corrales, I feel like we're getting on very well. If you could bring someone else on the server for a visit, who? Lizzie, of course. What are your goals for Hermitcraft? To make some really cool builds and also just have fun. It's my first season. Will you be doing Hermitcraft streams? Probably not because my internet is terrible. Which Hermit is your biggest source of inspiration? In terms of building, definitely B-dubs or Scar. If you change one thing about Minecraft, what would it be? Get rid of phantoms or move them to the end. Wormy Worm asks, can we know the name of your band that you previously showed? and maybe hear some music. I loved it so much. Unfortunately, there is no other recordings that I could actually find, apart from a live recording from when we entered a Battle of the Bands once, which we didn't win, by the way. And there is a video of that, which I'll put on the screen now. <laughs> So sorry, the audio recording on that is terrible. But the band was called The Standbys. Necromantix asks, what is your least favorite build and why? I don't really have a least favorite build. There's builds that now I look at and I'm like, damn, that is not that good. But at the time, I thought it was probably quite good. But uh, there's probably something from like, you know, one of the One Life series from years ago. But that is Blue6941 that says, what is your favorite part about making videos, recording, editing, planning etc i can tell you that normally editing is one of my least favorite parts i said earlier that i have an editor for sos sometimes i did think about getting one for hermitcraft but i've been having a lot of fun recently editing hermitcraft like doing those silly little intro bits where i'm getting quite cinematic with them or the sword fight club intro for example i i love those bits so i could never give up the editing but i'd have to say the recording is my favorite part in general because you know you just get so many funny unscripted moments sometimes and I go back and edit them and I'm just like smiling slash giggling to myself watching them back. Blonde101 asks, what was your life like before Lizzie? I can tell you right now, miserable. I'm just kidding. It wasn't miserable, but first of all, I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for her as she's the main reason I came back to Minecraft as I quit Call of Duty and I wasn't planning on coming back to YouTube. But life before Lizzie, I was a kid. I was young. What's your favorite video that Lizzie made? I can answer this one easily. The Empire's Season 1 musical. I teared up literally while watching that for the first time because I was so proud. <laughs> and what Minecraft mods do you recommend? For creative mode, definitely world edit. It just saves so much time when building. For survival mode, I'd just say logical zoom. I use this thing so much. Illusion E Tempest asks, what's your favorite current build? from other hermits this season. I'm gonna have to say Impulse and B-dubs Cyber City so far. It's just so cool. I get to see that from my base all the time and I'm so glad it's there. It looks amazing, but everybody's got some really cool builds. If I was to say some runners up so far, I would say Pearl and Scar's Train is really, really cool. Next, JB1LL asks, how did you and Scott become friends and how long have y'all known each other. Now, this is actually a pretty funny story, which I'm pretty sure Scott's probably told before, or I've told before. But Lizzie and I were at a convention called Insomnia in the United Kingdom. And I think Ollie was there as well. And Scott actually came up to us as a fan at the time. He was a fan of our videos. And he was so nervous, bless him. But he came over and got a photo of us and we chatted a little bit. And then he came back over again later and actually bought us a little Pokemon badge, I think it was, each. And then he dropped this line, right? He said that his Twitter had been malfunctioning recently and it wasn't allowing people to follow him. And he asked basically if I could help him out to see if I could follow him and it would work. <laughs> Which is quite cheeky, but I followed him and obviously I can't just you know unfollow him straight there But then a month or so later I think it was Lizzie was looking for people to add to her world of Warcraft guild and tweeted out and I think Scott was one of the people who replied 
So he got added to the guild and then we sort of got playing WoW a little bit of him and got chatting and sort of became friends over time like that. LQSVM asks, favorite movie or show at this point? My favorite show at the moment is a show called Shogun on Disney+, Plus, which if you aren't watching, you should be. It's set in like 1600s Japan, I think, and it's based on a book and I'm absolutely loving it. It's so cool. And my favorite movie that I watched most recently is probably June 2 was a banger. Miri the Simp asks, who's your favorite content creator apart from your wife? Damn, they took my first answer. I'd have to say either Eddie Burback or Drew Gooden. I've got some Eddie Burback merch, some of his Yikes merch because I thought it was really cool. I just love watching those guys. I think they're very funny. Lego Sonic Lover says, what was your favorite video you have ever made, Hermitcraft or other? My favorite video I've ever made is actually my most viewed video, which is Minecraft, but every day, I update the version. I found it just like really fun to just like go back through all the old versions and I got Lizzie along for the ride as well. And obviously other people seem to think it was a cool idea as well as I think that's sitting on 13 million, 14 million views, something like crazy. I don't have a favorite Hermitcraft video so far. But favorite moment in Hermitcraft would have to be the obliterate with the TNT and XB. LSCW5YX says, what's your opinion on onions? I like onions, red onions, spring onions, normal onions. I think they're very important in any dish, but never raw. Raw onion, no. When you get raw onion on a burger, bleh, no, sorry, it's just not for me, not for me. And they said, do you actually like beans? Yes, I like beans. I like broad beans, kidney beans, baked beans. Can't think of any more beans, but there's probably some more out there. Green beans I like. Manon CX2760 said, who was the first Minecraft YouTuber you watched and inspired you to make your videos? Now, I'll try and find a screenshot of this, but it was a YouTuber who made a series called X Plays Minecraft. He was like playing one of the really, really early versions of Minecraft and it inspired me to buy Minecraft as it was like no other game I'd ever really seen before and seemed really cool. And that was probably over 13 years ago now. It was a long time. Time, which is probably older than some of the people watching this video. Muo1282 said, favorite dessert? Easy, sticky toffee pudding. Absolutely amazing. Shiny Luna Calico says, do you use any weird keybinds in Minecraft? I don't think I do. I think they're all default. Yeah, look, apart from some of the modded ones, I think. Yeah, these down here are like, you know, voice chat and stuff are changed. I do play with toggle sprint though meaning I just have to press W and a sprint. And they also ask, did you have any other jobs beside YouTube? And I can tell you, not really, not a proper job. I've been doing YouTube since I was 16 and I had some early success with some Call of Duty stuff. I did have like a small after school job before that where I worked for my next door neighbor who was an accountant and I filed stuff and it was the most soul destroying and boring stuff ever. And they also asked, did you ever go to university? And the answer to that is no. I stopped after I went to college, which is like the UK equivalent of like late high school or something. I don't know. It's when you're from the ages of 16 to like 18. And they also asked, what would you do if YouTube didn't work out? And honestly, I have no idea. I hate to think about it. It, it probably not much. <laughs> I don't know. The Rainbows Bird 3758 says, How long have you been playing Minecraft and do you ever get recognized in public? I've been playing Minecraft for over 13 years now, which is since I was 17, I think I was at the time. Oh gosh. And do I ever get recognized in public? Yes, I do sometimes, but not crazy often. Like at the moment, it's the school holidays in the UK. So me and Lizzie, if we are out together, get recognized a little bit more often than we normally would. In fact, earlier today, we actually got recognized at a local shopping center near us. Calgary720 asks, what's your favorite book? I listen to a lot of books on Audible. This is not a sponsor, I just generally do. Some of my favorites include The First 15 Lives of Harry August, Project Hail Mary, The Midnight Library. There's the Scythe series, if anyone's heard of that. I really, really enjoyed those. Yumang Shiel 7819 says, so when did you start playing the drums? I also play the drums, so I'm just curious. Oh, and where did you learn it? Like, was it rock school or something else? Do you still play drums from time to time? Because it'd be awesome to hear a drum cover from you someday. I learned to play the drums when I was about 13, I think. When I was around 11 or 12, that sort of age, the movie School of Rock came out, which if you haven't seen, I would highly recommend. And it really inspired me to play the guitar. So I begged my parents for a guitar, I think for like one of my birthdays. 
And to be honest, I, I was just not made for it. My hands were quite small when I was that age and I just really struggled to get the picking right and everything. And my dad had always wanted to play the drums. So we came to like this sort of like weird agreement where we both decided to learn the drums. We'd get lessons at the same time. So my dad also plays the drums and I actually got taught by the drummer of a band called Shed 7, which you can look up if you want. They were a reasonably big band in the UK at one point. And I do still play the drums a little bit. Like, I don't really practice ever. I'm really bad at practicing. But I like to have some jam sessions with Ollie and some other friends, like I said earlier. And there's clips on, like, Ollie's Twitter, I think, of that if you want to find it. I guess I could put one on the screen now. Every move you make Every vow you break Every smile you fake Every gleam you but yeah, we only really do like covers and just mess around and have some fun just, you know, to have a little jam session. Gooseguy117 says, Joel, I have a question. What's your favorite Lego set in your collection? My favorite Lego set is actually not Lego. It's this mini block set that Lizzie got me for Christmas this year. And it's the house from Encanto. I'll put a picture of it on the screen right now. This thing took me 25 or so hours to build like straight hours it took me about like two weeks in total and i was doing like you know a couple of hours or so a day as it was so fiddly because of the little flowers and stuff but it was so satisfying when it was done and it's by far my favorite set of like lego stuff that i've ever done and i'm gonna make these questions here from soy sauce 3608 the last questions the first one is what other video games do you enjoy playing i used to absolutely adore csgo although i'm not loving counter strike 2 as much and for those who are going to ask my csgo rank was global elite i was pretty good if i do say so myself i think my cs2 rank is like 21,000, 22,000, something like that but i've also been really into clone hero at the moment i actually bought a guitar hero guitar as i used to love guitar hero free back in the day and oh my gosh I used to have like a wireless controller and I was always pretty bad. I bought a wired controller and oh, it's so good. I'm having such a good time. Is this an excuse for me to just record a bit of me playing it right now? Sure, here it is, but there's no music so I don't want to get copyright striked. So I also asked what are some other places you'd love to travel to? I've always wanted to travel to like, you know, the upper east coast of America and see like New York City especially. I've never been there and I think it'd be cool. And I also just want to go to more places in Europe. I'd love to go back to Italy. I've been there twice before, Rome and somewhere in Sicily. But the main reason I want to go there is just because I love pasta so much and the food there is so good. I had the best pasta in Rome at this little store which had like a queue outside of it and you ate it off paper plates but it was just freshly made pasta. Oh, it was so good. And I'd also just love to go on like a tropical holiday where you just sort of chill out for a while. I've, we went to Jamaica on our honeymoon and it was amazing. I'd love to go to like the Bahamas or the Maldives or somewhere like that. Just, you know, just somewhere lovely with that bright blue water. You know, that water, the water that looks like that behind me. So nice. The last question they ask is, how are you doing today? I am doing great. I'm so excited to go on my trip to Japan. I'm starting to get in that holiday mode and I'm actually going to end this video right now and get editing it so that I can get packing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this. I know it's a bit of a weird one and unusual in comparison to my other videos, but if you did, let me know in the comments down below and you can maybe head over to my Instagram if you want to see some pictures of me in Japan. I'm sure I'll have posted something at some point, although I'm really bad at that. Make sure to subscribe and all that. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.